Right, we're back out in the garden. We've got a new sprocket for this web lawnmower. Let's put it on and see if it all works before we restore it. See you in a minute. Right, okay, so here we are. We've got the, uh, this was the old sprocket, as you know, which the ball bearings had fallen out of. So here's the new one we've got. Again, he paid 25 pound for that. It uh, should be a direct replacement by the looks of it. So that's what we've got there. So we're just gonna put this back on now. This is the new one. And uh, hope that everything's all right. So the bearings seem to be running nice and free in there. So we're gonna whack this on. Half of the thing is remembering how it all goes back together. So, I know it was only a week ago, but you do tend to forget things. So we'll just, uh, can you remember Gary? I have to watch the video back. <laughs> well, I normally have to do that sometimes, you know. It's just a matter of remembering the order we took it off in. Um, Again, we're not going to bother to clean everything up here really, I'm only going to give it a little wipe over. But um, as you know, we're going to be taking all this apart again. We just want to prove that it works. So that goes through there. Oh yeah, the bracket's got to come up there. Look. Lift that bracket up. Put it back through towards you. Go ahead and back it through there. Okay, then that nut's got to go on there as well, isn't it? Turn it by hand. Not by the so when you lift that handle up there, yeah. you're able to turn that sprocket then, aren't you? That releases the clutch, doesn't it? Yeah, so when you, when you let go of it, then the sprocket clutch turn the whole thing turns then. a whole lot, yeah. So that's what weren't happening before. Yeah. yeah, so that woodruff key can go back in there, which is in there, isn't it? Yeah, where did that bracket that come off the other one, didn't it? That's the tensioning bracket as well, isn't it? I think that comes from there, look. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll get that out of there. Normally a little touch of grease helps, but it should go in there and stay in there. Hey? Can't that spin that shaft round? It's the drum in it. Yeah, you go in, you go in. That's it. Just lift it up at the back. Spin the drum. That's it. Oh, too much. That's it. That's it. Let's got it up in the air. So we can see the wood rack clean now, can't we? So that can go in there. Okay. Take it back a bit. Yeah, that'd be alright. That goes on only one way, that's right, facing outwards. That should mesh between them teeth there, which it does. That's it, that's on, isn't it? Yep. So that's that. We don't need to put the tension on yet. Was there a big nut that goes on there? No locking plate or nothing there. Just a crash washer. Oh, that's right, it was nylock nut, wasn't it? That's right, see? It's all coming back to us. Oh, just snip that up. So far, so good. Right, we'd better get this roller on next, I think, get that in there. But for the moment, I think we'll just clean these bearings out. Just get some squirt in there. Give that a bit of a lube Right, just wipe that off, Bert. Again, because we don't know how gritty they are. I know we're going to be taking all this off again, but uh, it's just that we know we can see grit in there and a bit of crap in there, so we just give them a wipe off and just make sure that they're clean and just put some new grease in it for the moment. Yeah. Give them a good swing around. A bit gritty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you put it on your finger, can you put it through your finger? And then if I squirt the back of it and tip it upside down, that should all come out. Now tip it upside down, that's it. Again, don't forget this ain't restoration, this is just making the improvement while we're just proving that the thing works. I don't think that was the issue anyway, was it? No. Some of you said that, um, quite rightly so, that the drum, when it was in there, was adjusted up too high, and that was what's stopping it from revolving. Yeah. Right, just pack 
Perhaps some grease in there then. Right, go on and pack some grease in them. Again, this is all coming off again. Don't forget when we do actually refurbish it. Pack it well in there, all around there, so push it in with your finger. This is uh, waterproof grease by the way, so uh, it's ideal for this sort of application. Right, that's it. Just give that a quick rotate, make sure it's all in there. Alright? Yeah, sounds a bit smooth. That's it. And it's smooth now, not grown to you at all, is it? No. Nope. So that's a well worth job. Right, so that goes on the end of this drum here, doesn't it? Put that washer. So this has got to slide in now through that hole. Does that come forward like that? It goes up like that, doesn't it? in there like that and that little block as you say can go in the back right you need the bolts that go through here Gary that, these, these ones yeah because I've got to put that little block at the back I think that screws into that little block at the back yeah so that goes the bolt goes through there the spring goes behind it like that and then that little block has to go at the back there so it can screw in so that just goes in there that drops in there somehow that goes through there always tricky isn't it <coughs> somehow we have to get these little blocks in the back there which I can't really see how you do that I can't see you need to take that out, surely not. Because that's the only way you can come in from the top there and hold them in place, you know? I bet you have to. I bet you've got to undo this row of bolts along the bottom there. Right, well, never having one of these apart before. There's no way that I, you're, you're supposed to fiddle and get that little block in the back there, under there in the blade area. That's just not happening. I think this plate's got to come out. So that means the drum's got to come out that plate and then you can get your hand easily down the back there and uh, put that little block on the back. So we're going to have to remove this, take this back out and remove this plate. Right, okay, we've taken the roller out again now. So just stand it up. Because there's actually bolts on the back for this plate. So we've got to spin it right round. All right, and now tip it back towards you. That's it. Like that. That's better see what we're doing again not rollers we've normally taken apart uh, not a lawnmower we've actually taken apart before so let's just undo these they're not slotted I don't think so they'll have to come right out then that means that plate then can come straight out and we can gain full access to it. Oh, they are slotted, look. They are slotted, so they haven't got to come right out. So just loosen it off. Okay. That'll do. Is that my middle one that's a bit more? Okay, let's pull it back. Let me pull it back on this front plate now, Gary. Should hopefully lift out. There we go. Oh, that's better. Look at that, look. Yeah, absolutely perfect. When you know what you're doing, it makes life a whole lot easier. Now that roller can go back in, which is over by you. Your end goes in first. There's a fresh washer on there still. We also lubricated and cleaned this bearing this side as well, in case those of you who said we only done one. Right, so that's got to go right in there. Got it? Right, now, Easy to get around the back now, look, see? So we want, you want that. You want that. So we go through the adjuster block first of all. Spring behind it. 
And then this nut goes through the back and just sits on the back there. And you hopefully should be able to get a start on that bolt. There should be nothing on it now. That going? Yep, mine's going. And then that little block then sits at the back there, look. Yeah, so you can hold that in place now and do the threads up, which also screws straight into that little block. And that should keep it in place. But now that little block has got the threads going into it, that's located now, which means we can drop that sheet back in there, that plate, you know? Oh, Show me, let me have a look. No, you've got a gap there between yours, you see, look. You should have held it up fully, pushed it up against it, yes, yes, no, look at mine, look, there's no gap there, look. So when it comes out, your, your, your nut's not seated in the little slots. Yeah. That's better. Now, just put your hand at the back of the nut. As soon as you feel it just come through, that's where you want it. Then that screws into that block and that block will push straight up against the face. It's a bit of a faff, but this is the, so much easier way of doing it. That's it. How's that? That's it. That little block should be in place there with no gap. Yeah, solid. Which it is, just like mine. Slide that down the back, and that's got to latch onto them screws. Right, lean that back onto the table like we had it before. Got it? Yep. And they just drop into the holes there. See? Now, next time we uh, strip down one of these, we know exactly how to take the the the, tr the uh, drum out. And exactly the easiest way to do it, rather than putting it putting it back in, trying to do it the first way we tried it. That's it, so that can be nipped up now. All good fun, all, all part of the learning curve. Right, so stand it back up. And the drum is now in. Now it's hitting the deck at the moment, this is where we adjust it up now. But we've got to put these other bolts in first with them brackets, haven't we? These things. Yeah. These there. The roller fixes onto that bracket there, you see, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. We've got the roller in now, as you can see. We had to check the previous video so that we could get these brackets on the right way. The front wooden roller connects up to here. As I say, once we've done this once or twice, You'll get to know them. But uh, as I say, these nuts are a bit rusted, but uh, I will change these ones afterwards. There you go. It's just got to be nipped up. And that's what adjusts your, 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 your depth in it for your cut. Wherever that roller is, then you lock it in position. So that's the wooden roller back on. So we'll leave that for the minute. Right, we're going to get the sprockets on now. You haven't really got to see that and we'll uh, come back to you in a second. sorted out so we're now going to try and fire it up and see if it actually works now I'll put the choke in
Oh. Just lift the back up, lift the back up. Right, so that. Yep, just lift that, put that clutch engaged. No, that's the front one, the other one. Right, now maybe this needs adjusting. Well, that was spinning free, wasn't it? Have we just found the problem, Bert? I've found it. <laughs> Look. Put that bolt in the wrong way there and it's stopping the pulley from turning. We quickly turn that round because I've only got 15% battery life left and we should be okay. So we'll see you in a minute. It does happen, never mind. Alright, as you can see now, we've got a little gap there now between the pulleys. Everything's fine. Just shows you you've got to put everything back as you found it the right way round. Right, we've adjusted the clutch up. We think we've got it now. Go in, Bert. Start her up. Okay, we'll Well, we sussed it in the end, and we now know a lot more about these mowers, believe me. Anyway, I'm glad we come back and add another little tinkle, and all we've done was adjust the centre pin on the clutch, let me show you. Because we didn't have drive, and that was what we uh, used there. Everything else was okay now. So there is a little spacer at the back there, which was supposed to be in there. Uh, the chains are okay, that's the sprockets there. The adjusters are okay. Chains might look a little bit slack, but that's how I've seen them all basically, so uh, it's working okay now. But as I say, this final drive, we didn't have final drive, and we just wound that little thing until we got our drive sorted out. Happy days. So now we know it works, and it works very well. This can now be refurbished, repainted. Uh, nothing really needs to be done to the engine. I ain't got to strip that down at all, just a nice clean up job. Uh, grease and lubrication and that'll be it so anyway thanks very much hope you have enjoyed this although we had a little uh, few mishaps and all that only because we never worked on these sort of things before and we'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now <laughs>